Hi, and welcome to Cedar Mini. We are a mum and bub duo documenting our creative play and art journey together. We show you simple and budget-friendly ideas to foster yours and your child's imagination. Come and see what we're making today. On our last episode, we visited the Museum of Contemporary Art in the Rocks Precinct of the City of Sydney. It was a beautiful day and we enjoyed looking at art and walking around the neighbourhood. Inspired by a recent museum visit, I stumbled across this wonderful book called The Art Gallery and today share a little bit about it. We also create a super simple and almost mess-free art idea for you or your minis. I've linked the book in the description box below because it was a single bargain find at a discount store, so I had to search online, and of course, Amazon had copies in stock. This is such a wonderful book for any art lover in your life. Let's take a quick peek inside. The Art Gallery, written by Tanya Kyle through Five Mile Publishing, is a beautifully illustrated and informative book about visiting art galleries and museums. The first section talks about what an art gallery is and what kinds of things we can find there. The next section is about sculptures. The next couple pages talk about painting rooms. I haven't sat down and read through it properly, but I myself have already learned a few facts about various art and artists. And there is also a section about art installations, which I absolutely love. And finally, the last few pages are devoted to more popular pieces like the Mona Lisa, the Kiss, and a painting by Jackson Pollock, which is our inspiration for today's little activity. Minnie hasn't been too keen on doing intentional activities because he hasn't been well the last couple weeks. Prior to that, we have been catching up with family and friends since lockdown has lifted, so we've been spending more time outdoors. Here is an attempt of creating our own take on a Jackson Pollock inspired art piece. Inspired by Pollock's random style, I decided to create a simple activity for my mini. All you'll need is paper, preferably a heavier stock, textures or markers, an optional paintbrush, and water container. This activity only has two steps. First, use your textures to create random designs on your paper, like so. I listened to some instrumental covers while I made mine and it was so relaxing. Something you guys might want to try? And then when I was happy with the markings on my paper, I took a paintbrush and splattered water all over the sheet to diffuse the texture ink on the paper. You could also just simply use your fingers. It's kind of a backwards version of Jackson Pollock's famous strip style. So if you're a parent looking for an activity that won't get paint on your walls, doing it this way might be a lot safer for your furniture and your home. If you've been inspired to try these techniques, share your art with us via Instagram, tag us at Cedarmini. We would love to see your creations.
Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe to watch next week's visit to the Art Gallery of New South Wales, where we take a look at the Matisse Alive exhibition on display. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and our WordPress blog at Cedar Mini.